what's up everybody Matt here and today I'll be reviewing Star Wars Rebel Heist Part 1 uh, so let's get into it so the comic opens in the CD part of Corellia uh, we follow a young guy who's looking to hook up with the rebels he goes to a cantina and as, basically as soon as he walks in he's caught by Imperials um, an Imperial strike team uh, you know hold him up but then out of nowhere blaster bolts start shooting over his shoulders and everything and we see Han Solo has taken out the Imperial Strike Force. Uh, anyway, one of them ends up escaping and Hand and the kid give chase and it leads to a speed bike chase. And we then see one of the strike team members obviously who didn't die following Hand and this kid and Hand's, you know, trying to lose him and stuff or appears to be and then the guy actually gets taken out by like a um like a truck type vehicle that uh just plows straight into the side of him. Uh, anyway, Han says that there's a pro he talks to a communicator and says that there's a problem. He's talking to some hooded figure that we don't really get to see. And the, the hooded figure goes and tells some nearby stormtroopers about some rebels killing an Imperial strike team nearby. Anyway, those troopers head off to see about Han and see if they can stop him. Han heads to his ship. It's like a really old Junkers type ship and. Uh, he keeps reassuring the kid that this is all part of a plan and, you know, we just got to sit here and wait, really. Um, and the, the kid actually asks if this old rickety ship is the Millennium Falcon. And quickly uh, reassures him that it's not the Millennium Falcon. Uh, the stormtroopers turn up and start firing on them and they end up getting back in the ship and head for space. Uh, the stormtroopers then radio to... Uh, orbiting TIE fighters to give chase to this old ship so they actually give up uh, or they give chase and then Han and this kid just like oh well, well we'll just you know surrender you know and Han keeps reassuring it's all part of the plan um, anyway they're taken to a base and you know they're put in handcuffs and they're, they're taken to the, the base's commissary which is like the, the sort of like meal room um, while they await prison transport um, Han manages to end up pop, to end up popping his cuffs, and he actually takes a stormtrooper hostage. But there's too many of them, so he ends up just giving up. Uh, the comic ends with the kid sort of turning on Han and basically telling the Imperials everything he knows about Han. You know, saying, you know, he's one of the most dangerous people ever, and you know, he's only out for himself. He's not. He doesn't work with the rebels. You know, he's only interested in money. Which Han sort of is, and you know. Uh, and the last thing, the last panel we see is of Han in a cell, and he looks like he's been brutally beaten. Uh, yeah, this comic was pretty cool. Um, this comic comes in the wake of that whole the EU sort of being reset, or it's not in continu continuity with the movies, and that well, that's how I see it. It hasn't been like taken out; it's been sort of moved to the side. Um, I'm guessing that this comic is part of that. Um, not really too sure. I, I would imagine it is, um, but uh, yeah, it's in, it's interesting, and I, I like seeing, you know, th these types of comic, you know, focusing on, you know, the little details between the movies and and stuff. Um, and and this this comic actually got hand pretty much right, you know, or what the kid says about him. You know, he's only out for himself, and he really is. I mean, or you see him in like. The first two Star Wars movies, he, he really is out for himself, but then he sort of, over time, you know, shows that, you know, oh, I'll, I'll be part of the Rebel Alliance, you know, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm interested to see where this comic goes and what the exact heist in in the name, in the subtitle suggests. Uh, I'm obviously, maybe information or something, but I know the next issue pertains to Princess Leia, so maybe they're going to try and pop ham from the cell and go after something. It'll be interesting to see where this goes. I'm going to give this comic an 8 out of 10.